Okay, it's uh, Shreen Ragab. This is my nickname. I am from Egypt. I'm an artist from Egypt. And um, I'm very glad to be with you. Um, I'm not a graduate from Faculty of Arts, but uh, I love art. And I followed many mentors who um, I learned from them many things, which is very important to know about art. I learned from them a hyperrealism, impressionism, cubism, and I started to make a very good mix uh, with these styles of work. And uh, I think it um, it make um, I made my own style through these years. I have been living in Sharm el-Sheikh for 10 years. This is a, a, a place in Egypt which is very nice, sea and sand and sun, which um, affects my imagination and um, how I see the world. And then I moved to Cairo, which is the capital of Egypt, and it's very busy and it's very polluted compared to Sharm el-Sheikh. So I have experienced many uh, uh, many places around uh, Egypt and it makes me uh, feel uh, how people get uh, affected by the weather and how the weather affects their attitude to how they behave um, and this I think it, it um, it's very uh, uh, I, I show it a lot in my paintings um, because I had many solo exhibitions, I talked about the row in Egypt, how many rows we use in Cairo. We used to stand in in Cairo, and uh, I also uh, my imagination in in uh, which is has a, w w where I have a big imagination in Sharm el Sheikh. So I mix it all these places in my paintings. Uh, I have my own concept. My childhood also affected me because actually I was a very hyper child. Um, I like to move a lot. I like to discover things and this helped me for sure in my work. Uh, I studied basically uh, business administration and um, and literature. Maybe this also affected my, the way I think about um, selling my art and how I th see the world and I, I, I'm not like any other artist who only studied art and uh, uh, they think about uh, beauty of the art only no I think sometimes I become realistic sometimes I become imaginative uh, I, I see things that uh, the unseen thing that sometimes I'm also affected by the Sufism it's a, it's a, it's like a school of Islam, but it's a nice school where you see where you love God for for, for without any grant, without any uh, uh, hate hate hateness or in your in your body. You are very free soul. All of this is tough. Uh, all my all my knowledge all affected my paintings. Um, my biggest influence actually I'm, I'm 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 influenced by the sufism school and also i'm influenced by uh the the, the egyptian tradition and the pharaohs or the the old uh, the ancient egyptians where um, oh, it's a great civilization and it has many mysteries and these mysteries uh, attracted my attention and I'm affected with it so you will find a lot of mystery in my work you will find a lot of uh, samples in my work uh, also about the, I'm affected about the energy positive energy when you think positively about how how you can attract things as a power of attraction all of this stuff combined together to get my art out so I am focusing now on the Egyptian tradition and the Egyptian civilization and the ancient Egyptian Egyptians, which is actually is a very huge civilization and how they were very successful and how their energy was very strong. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do in my art. Uh, my biggest chance of being an artist, I'm in a country where it's a developing country where not a lot of people who are appreciating my art or appreciating art in general. So I am dealing with uh, a special class, maybe class A only, class B maybe. But a uh, lot of foreigners come here and they also appreciate my art and they, 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 they really like it. Yeah. I advise you, uh, uh, I advise the young people 
uh, not to be in a rush they will be successful but the continual work uh, and to 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 uh, to be uh, persistent and to be and to be patient all of this will help them be successful have tried unconventional mediums and techniques yes actually i use many special many uh, challenging techniques uh, i use any material that i found around me sometimes i use coffee tea to on my paintings acrylic for sure oil paintings uh, sometimes i use uh, uh, wood uh, wood or sands or salt all of this stuff helped me getting out uh, a new um, painting which is different and actually i have to always to be in a try a trying and error trying and error all of it will help me to be successful and making new things uh do you listen to music yes i listen i listen to music and um i love it i love music i love the actual the old and the classic uh, oriental music and uh, sometimes i like the the so i'm uh, uh, some uh, western music but it's not maybe the um, actually i forget its name because uh, it's it's a uh, maybe it's not well known in in the oriental culture uh but we can we, we they say it, it's a deep house music i like deep house music um i had many nice reaction about my work sometimes they say wow this is what we really think about egypt uh you mix the egyptian culture and the uh, and all the Egyptian problems with it and um, with an artistic style you you think possibly toward the future all of this they can see in my work and that's what so that's why they love my work because I'm always think positively about the future and all I'm always think about that tomorrow will be better uh, what do you hope people take away from your artwork uh, the same idea that tomorrow will be better be cheerful be happy when you look at my art think uh, uh, it makes you um, feel happy feel better uh, that's all yani thank you for very much for um, for your time and i hope i'm not that uh, talkative <laughs> thank you thank you so much